Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss conversational chatbots like OpenAI's ChatGPT, which use large language models such as OpenAI's GPT for tasks like information retrieval. One concern is ensuring the accuracy of the information these language models provide. To do this, the models need to have factual knowledge about real-world entities. They are trained on a vast amount of data, including information from sources like Wikipedia, which helps them learn about the world. Our main focus is on determining how much factual knowledge is embedded in these language models. Previous methods represented knowledge as triplets, where a subject has a relation with an object, e.g., Einstein, birth year, 1879. The challenge is to infer the object given the subject and relation using only the information from the language model. Current approaches face issues with prompt engineering and reliability of estimates. There is also a concern about the usefulness of the estimates, as they may prioritize machine extractable facts over human understandable knowledge. In this paper, we introduce a simple and reliable latent knowledge estimator, LKE, called ICLK which leverages in-context learning, ICL, to address these concerns. We explore different design choices for ICL and compare ICLK with previous methods. Our empirical results show that ICLK outperforms other approaches across various models and types of factual relations. We also conduct a systematic comparison of latent knowledge in 49 open-source language models, revealing differences in knowledge across model families and the impact of fine-tuning on knowledge extraction. The challenge lies in standardizing tests to estimate knowledge reliably. Crafting human understandable prompts can be tricky due to the stochastic nature of language models, which can be influenced to generate both correct and incorrect answers through prompt engineering. This poses a challenge in accurately assessing the latent knowledge of language models using prompts. Section Summary. In this section, we explore the challenge of estimating latent knowledge in large language models, LLMs, like OpenAI's GPT, particularly focusing on how to test if factual knowledge about real-world entities is embedded in these models. We introduce a new method called ICLK that leverages in-context learning to estimate latent knowledge more reliably than previous prompting-based approaches, showing superior performance across various LLM models and types of factual relations. By evaluating 49 open-source LLMs using ICLK, we find variations in the amount of factual knowledge retained by different models, highlighting the importance of standardizing tests to ensure consistent and reliable measures of the model's latent knowledge. Section. Related work. In this section, We have reviewed previous research on estimating latent knowledge from large language models, LLMs. Researchers have proposed two main approaches, model internals-based and model responses-based. Model internals-based approaches use the LLM's internal mechanisms like attention maps and activation functions to extract factual information. On the other hand, model responses-based approaches, which we focus on in our study, analyze the probability distribution of generated tokens in an LLM to estimate knowledge. Model responses-based approaches often use different prompting techniques to verify if a target fact is stored in the LLM. However, these prompts can be fragile and their success relies on the assumption that the LLM truly understands them. In our study, We aim to minimize the LLM's understanding of prompts and develop a knowledge estimation method based on in-context learning. We test our method using facts from existing knowledge graphs. While some studies focus on detecting hallucinations in LLMs, we specifically concentrate on estimating factual knowledge. We aim to understand how much knowledge an LLM can provide based on existing knowledge graphs. Our approach differs from hallucination detection as we are interested in assessing the LLM's actual understanding of facts. We also discuss the challenges in existing latent knowledge estimation methods, such as limitations in test topics and the use of unrestricted test prompts. These issues motivate us to propose new design principles for reliable latent knowledge estimators, LKEs. Our principles aim to generate estimates for any factual topic, minimize overfitting and side channels in prompt engineering, and reduce reliance on metalinguistic judgments. Section Summary. 
In this section, we explore different approaches to estimating latent knowledge in language model models, LLMs. These approaches fall into two categories, model internals based and model responses based. Our study focuses on the latter, using the probability distribution of generated tokens in LLMs for knowledge estimation. We aim to address reliability concerns in existing latent knowledge estimators, LKEs, by proposing design principles that ensure unbiased and accurate estimation of latent knowledge in LLMs. Section. The Knowledge Estimation Problem. In this section, we aim to solve the knowledge estimation problem. We are interested in figuring out what information a language model knows. We have a language model called theta and a fact denoted as f equals x, r, y. A hidden knowledge estimator, phi, theta, f, helps us estimate if theta is aware of the fact f. It assigns a value of 1 if theta knows f, and 0 if it does not. When we have a group of facts f equals f underscore 1, f underscore n, we use phi, theta, f equals vert, phi, theta, f equals 1 to show the subset of facts that phi believes theta knows. A good knowledge estimator, phi, should be able to recall many facts from a set of true facts f that theta knows, while also being precise and not recalling facts that theta does not know. We can measure precision by ensuring that for a set of incorrect facts f underscore false, phi, theta, f underscore false, is small. Our intuition is that models are more likely to encounter true facts during training and thus are more likely to know true facts but not false ones. Therefore, a knowledge estimator, phi, that recalls more true facts than another while not recalling false facts is likely to reveal more of the knowledge stored in theta correctly. We introduce a new in-context learning-based knowledge estimator, ICELC. Our objective is to determine if a large language model, LLM, knows a specific fact f equals x, r, y. The challenge lies in probing the LLM and evaluating its responses in a way that aligns with the design principles we have established. To assess if an LLM knows a fact f equals x, r, y, we need to ask it questions in a manner that allows us to judge its knowledge based on its responses. Previous methods have communicated questions about R and X to the LLM using specific prompts tailored to each relation. However, this approach has drawbacks such as introducing side channels and relying on metalinguistic abilities. Instead, we leverage the LLM's ability for in-context learning. The key idea is to use in-context learning to convey information about relation R without additional instructions to the LLM. By providing the model with a list of facts related to R, we enable it to understand the relationship between subjects and objects. For instance, to probe if an LLM knows the fact, Einstein, birth year, 1879, we can use other facts related to birth years like, Feynman, birth year, 1918, and, Heisenberg, birth year, 1901 inches to construct an input sequence that prompts the model to retrieve Einstein's birth year as the completion of the sequence. To evaluate the model outputs, we assess the probabilities assigned by theta to the tokens of the corresponding object y. We compute the object probability over multiple tokens to accommodate objects consisting of more than one token and to be independent of specific tokenization schemes. For multiple choice testing to determine if theta knows a fact f equals x, r, y caret asterisk, we test if theta can correctly select the object y caret asterisk from a set of plausible alternatives. The IC ELK design adheres to the knowledge estimation design principles by enabling relative probability comparisons between different answer options, using a consistent prompt design based on in-context learning across all relations and only requiring the LLM to utilize in-context learning without assuming additional metalinguistic abilities. Section Summary In this section, we address the knowledge estimation problem by determining which facts a language model knows. We introduce a latent knowledge estimator that assesses whether the model knows a given fact, aiming for high recall of true facts while maintaining precision by not recalling false facts. Leveraging in-context learning we construct prompts that communicate information about relations to the model without introducing side channels or relying on metalinguistic abilities, 
ultimately evaluating the model's factual knowledge through multiple choice testing. Section. Exploring the design space of IC Elk. In this section, we explore the design space of IC Elk. By design, IC Elk overcomes many limitations of previous works. However, it introduces some design choices for the input, such as deciding the right number of in-context examples, n, included in the input. We investigated how IC Elk is affected when some chosen examples are unknown or incorrect. By varying n and introducing unknown or incorrect examples within these, we gained insights into the number of in-context examples needed and how robust IC Elk is to different types of noise in these examples. We conducted detailed experiments on a dataset related to the birth year relation. The dataset contains facts about people, their birth years, and corresponding years. We divided the dataset into training and test sets. The training set provided in context examples, while the test set evaluated knowledge estimation performance. More knowledgeable models required fewer in context examples, but most models performed well with a small number of examples. In our analysis, we evaluated the knowledge estimation accuracy for different models using varying numbers of in-context examples. As the number of in-context examples increased, the accuracy improved and the variability decreased, leading to stable performance. Models with higher accuracy required fewer examples compared to less accurate models. This suggests that less knowledgeable models need more examples to infer relations effectively. We also examined the generation probability of in-context objects in subject-object pairs to understand which facts are known to the model. The Mistral 7B model showed a gradual increase in generating correct objects, indicating confidence in known facts. However, some objects had lower generation probabilities, suggesting uncertainty in the model's knowledge. We found that LLMs can identify relation patterns with a small set of in-context examples. They are robust to unknown examples but struggle with incorrect examples, especially when they appear in a continuous sequence. Our findings support the design of IC Elk for effective knowledge estimation. Additionally, we propose EIC Elk for efficient in-context learning. Section Summary In this section, we explore the design space of IC Elk, a model that aims to estimate latent knowledge efficiently. We investigate the impact of varying the number of in-context examples, n, and introducing unknown or incorrect examples within these. Our findings suggest that LLMs can learn relation patterns with a small set of examples, are robust to unknown examples, but are significantly disrupted by incorrect examples, especially when they appear in a continuous sequence. Section. Designing an LKE using output probability distributions. In this section, we examine how we can design a latent knowledge extractor, LKE, using output probability distributions. We view facts as relationships between entities, similar to existing literature on knowledge graphs. Our aim is to determine which facts a language and logic model, LLM, knows and whether the known facts are accurate. The LKE's task is to identify the facts that the LLM is aware of within a knowledge graph. The knowledge graph consists of entities, like people, places, dates, and facts, which are relationships between these entities. The LKE's goal is to extract facts accurately from the knowledge graph based on the LLM's knowledge. To achieve this, the LKE takes the LLM, the head entity, and the relation as input and aims to accurately extract the tail entity. This extraction process can involve various strategies, such as prompting the LLM effectively or training a classifier to predict the tail entity. The main challenge is to ensure that this extraction works well on new, unseen data. Our proposal involves extracting knowledge by analyzing the output probabilities of the LLM. We introduce a simple LKE that treats the extraction of latent knowledge as a multiple choice problem. We determine what facts the LLM knows by comparing the probabilities it assigns to true facts with those assigned to plausible but incorrect alternatives. To compute these probabilities, we map fact triplets to sequences of tokens using an encoding function. 
This function converts facts into token sequences that the LLM can process. By analyzing the probabilities of these token sequences, we can determine whether the LLM knows a particular fact. Our approach is straightforward yet effective. By using a basic prompting strategy, we can apply our method to various LLMs without assuming how they generate text output. We only require the ability to compute probabilities over possible options for the tail entity, which can be done efficiently with a single pass over the LLM. We suggest obtaining facts from knowledge graphs like Wikidata, which store entities and relationships between them. By sampling factual triplets from these graphs, we can create a set of plausible alternatives for each fact. This allows us to compare the LLM's confidence in predicting the correct fact with its confidence in predicting incorrect alternatives. To evaluate our approach, we use two metrics, probability mass function, PMF, and precision. The PMF measures the model's confidence in predicting a fact relative to alternative facts, while precision assesses how accurately the model predicts the correct fact compared to a set of alternatives. Section Summary In this section, we discuss designing a latent knowledge extractor, LKE, that aims to identify facts known by a language model, LLM, by analyzing output probabilities. The LKE extracts facts based on the probabilities assigned by the LLM to true facts compared to plausible but incorrect alternatives, framing the extraction as a multiple-choice problem. By computing probabilities of facts using a simple prompting strategy and comparing them with alternatives, the LKE can determine the LLM's knowledge accurately, without imposing restrictions on the LKE design. Section. Experiments and Results. In this section, we present the results of our experiments on the knowledge estimation task using ICELC and its efficient version, EICELC, on 49 open source large language models, LLMs. We assessed these models across various LLM families and sizes. The models and their simplified names used in our study can be found in the appendix table. We also provide a leaderboard of models based on ICELC in another table. For our dataset, we evaluated the knowledge of the models using a wide range of facts from the T-Rex dataset. We specifically chose relations from T-Rex with at least 500 samples and linked to a minimum of 100 unique objects. This filtering resulted in 50 distinct relations covering categories such as birth dates, directorial roles, parental relationships, and educational lineage. The T-Rex multiple choice, T-Rex MC, dataset we created consists of 5,000 training facts and 20,000 test facts. More detailed information about the dataset and relations can be found in the appendix. To make the test challenging, we carefully selected alternative objects Y for each fact, subject, relation, correct object, by considering other facts in the dataset that share the same relationship. We included 99 alternative objects per fact to ensure that a random guess between the correct object and the alternatives in Y has a low probability of being correct. When comparing IC-ELK and EIC-ELK with prompt-based approaches, we found that IC-ELK performed better. By sampling human-generated prompts and machine-mind prompts for common relations, we observed that IC-ELK and EIC-ELK achieved higher mean accuracy and lower standard deviation across different models and relations compared to the prompt-based approaches. This indicates the consistency and effectiveness of IC-ELK and EIC-ELK in estimating factual knowledge. We also explored the impact of different separators on the model's ability to recognize subject-object patterns. Our findings suggest that the choice of separator does not significantly affect the model's performance, as long as the subject-object pairs are correctly presented. Therefore, we used a minimalistic prompt format to evaluate the factual knowledge of the LLMs. Furthermore, we evaluated 35 pre-trained LLMs and 14 fine-tuned LLMs across 50 relations using the IC-ELK framework to gain insights into their knowledge levels and structures. Our analysis focused on understanding the variations in knowledge across different model families and the influence of model size and fine-tuning within the same family on their knowledge attributes. Section Summary In this section, 
We present the experimental results of IC Elk and EIC Elk on the knowledge estimation task using 49 open source LLMs across various sizes and families. We evaluate the models on the T-Rex MC dataset containing 50 relations with 5,000 training and 20,000 test facts, showcasing that IC Elk outperforms prompt-based approaches and demonstrates higher consistency and accuracy in knowledge estimation tasks. Additionally, we analyze the performance of 35 pre-trained and 14 fine-tuned LLMs across 50 relations, aiming to understand knowledge levels and structures within different model families and the impact of model size and fine-tuning on their knowledge attributes. Section. Comparing different LLMs families. In this section, we compare different families of large language models, LLMs. We rank these model families based on their performance on various tasks. We observe that some families, like Mistral, Llama 2, Gemma, and Llama, generally outperform others like Pythia, Bloom, and Opt, indicating their higher factual knowledge. We also analyze how well models within the same family perform in terms of factual knowledge. Despite differences in their structures and training data, there is a consistent agreement on the hierarchy of knowledge across different tasks. Furthermore, we find that larger models within the same family tend to have more knowledge embedded in them compared to their smaller counterparts, except for the opt family. This suggests that larger models capture a wider range of facts when trained on the same datasets. However, it is unclear whether larger models encompass all the knowledge of the smaller models. We also investigate the impact of fine-tuning on the factual knowledge of models. We discover that fine-tuned models generally have lower accuracy than their base versions, indicating a reduction in extractable latent knowledge. Additionally, we find that most of the latent knowledge in fine-tuned models is already present in the base models, suggesting that fine-tuning may not necessarily add new knowledge. In conclusion, our study introduces a new method to estimate latent factual knowledge in LLMs through in-context learning, which proves to be more effective than traditional prompting methods. This approach allows for a more reliable assessment of factual knowledge across different LLMs and knowledge bases. Our findings shed light on how factual knowledge is embedded in LLMs and highlight the importance of understanding the nuances of knowledge extraction in these models. Section Summary in this section, we compare different families of large language models, LLMs, to assess their factual knowledge across various relations. We find that larger models within the same family generally outperform smaller models in terms of accuracy, indicating that they embed more knowledge. Additionally, we investigate the impact of chat-based fine-tuning on LLMs and observe that fine-tuning reduces the amount of extractable latent knowledge in the models. Section limitations. In this section, we discuss the limitations of our study. We have made progress in understanding hidden factual knowledge in LLMs using a new learning method. However, we need to recognize the constraints of our work. Even though our in-context learning approach helps reduce prompt manipulation and reliability issues seen in previous methods, it introduces biases based on how we choose and present the in-context examples. We explain these limitations in detail in the next section. For instance, the selection, order, and accuracy of the examples can impact how the model responds. Therefore, we must carefully select in-context examples to accurately estimate latent knowledge. Moreover, our study's limitation in testing simple factual information highlights a gap in evaluating ILM's complex reasoning skills. The framework we use mainly relies on the model's ability to recall or recognize facts from a set of triplets or structured prompts. This limits the assessment to basic factual recall, overlooking the model's potential for advanced cognitive processes like reasoning and inference. These areas remain open for future research.